let's go. Good morning, everybody. Six o'clock, fishing a Memorial Day tournament out here on the Chickahominy, Chickahominy Lake out of Ed Allen's. We've got to fish till two o'clock, so we've got a full day. Hopefully we can catch them. I mean, it just frog me. Come on. 6.04. Wow, grass is coming in nice. I haven't been out here since Tuesday. It's Monday. gonna get a little backlash uh, try to move a bunch of water today and just figure something out there's a lot of boats this is the biggest tournament I've fished in a while especially out of this ramp I mean there's probably 25 30 boats pretty sweet be nice to do well on this one beautiful morning gorgeous out here no wind, water temp 73, looks so froggy, sounds froggy. Figure I'll start the morning off with some top water, throw a Senko around a little bit. Later on, as the sun gets up, throw a Texas rig. Probably still throw a frog even after the sun comes up if they're eating it in the grass. Hmm. Seems like a good plan. 640. Came back into the creek to start the day. Don't think that was a great idea. Number one, going in the well at seven o'clock. I was flipping around a bandito bug for a little bit and I kind of felt like I wanted to try a worm out. That bad boy. Looked like there were a bunch of fish out here on this piece of structure too. Unfortunately, I just kind of rolled over on it. It's okay. A little one. I'm just happy to be putting fish in the boat. Chill. Number two. He's smaller than the first one. I don't even know if he's 12 inches. 712. Same spot. Same worm. Smaller fish. Right, number two going in. Small, small fish. Give them a little juice. They're not very big, but Again, I'm just happy to be putting anything in the boat right now. Number three. 721. That was cool. I scooped him. I was swimming that worm right by his face. I saw him get 
a little pissed off by it. Let it drop to the bottom, popped it once, then he ate it. That was sick. Into the ice palace with you. Feels a little bigger. That's because it's a pickerel. Good pick, pickerel though. Nice. Self release, that's what you want to see. Alright. Take a pickerel as a sign to roll. It's 8.13, probably 30 minutes since I got that last fish. Actually, 30 minutes since I got my last bite. So, perfect time to roll. Little, little guy. Drop shot fish. Come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Alright. God dang it. I'm pin for a second. Alright, well. I know there's some here. I know they're willing to eat. This drop shot at least. If I put it right on them. So that's what I'm gonna do. I leaned into them and had them pinned for a second and just popped right out. Nothing you can really do there, I don't think. Oh, oh it's a seagull. That was my trolling motor. <laughs> 12.44, got about an hour and 10 minutes left. There's number five. <laughs> I was messing with my GoPro because it turned off and I was just letting that drop shot sit there. Awesome. All right, we got a limit. 1250 something. Let's see. 1250. Limit in the boat. That's all I could ask for. All right, got an hour left to call. Got the limit. I was letting that sit there for probably 30 seconds. I had to take the battery out of this, turn it back on, hook everything back up, got it rolling, and then I like reeled my line and it was behind the boat. Guess I just need to slow down a little bit. Eat it, come on. That was so weird. So light, must have been small. That's a fish. Oh, it feels like a big one. Come on, baby. That's a call. Take that, okay. All right, putting something together in the last hour. That's a real good call. Um, smallest was four. Yes, this is most definitely the smallest little dinker. Feels great to call that one. All right, getting on some bites here. Need to do that a few more times with some big ones. But we got time. This is a black and red. It's actually called an exo ribbon. Not even fishing that deep. Like the boat's in eight. I'm fishing in like four to six feet. Real slowly dragging this worm. I mean, like, brutally slow. I was fishing too fast most of the day. Is another bite? No, not yet.
Come on. I think that's another call right there. Actually, I'm positive that it's a call. Man, 117. These fish either just turned on or I figured out how to catch them. Or both. Uh, okay, 1.28. Number four is going to be next. Oh, oh, chill, chill. You chill too. Alright, number four, get out of here. Come on, big fish. 129. Feeling good. Feeling like we're gonna bust two big ones. I don't know why. That sure felt like a bite, because it was. Oh, come on, come on. Thank you. These fish, I swear to God, they look four times the size when they come up head first like that. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, boo, I got you in the top. <laughs> it's only like two something. Two and a half, maybe. But geez, came up mouth first, as most fish tend to do. But I need to remind myself when I'm out here to quit freaking out about it because these fish just have really big heads, big mouths. I thought that was like a five pounder, I'm not gonna lie. All right, number one, you are out of here. Thanks for staying. Let's get back to it. Significantly helping the bag in the last hour. <laughs> oh. oh, this is so fun. What's that? Two calls now? Or is that three? I think it's two calls. That was such a good bite. I was just slowly dragging it. I felt it hit some sort of cover. I like bonked it so lightly and I just felt that real quick tick afterwards. And looks like we might have another fish that wants to play. Come on. Be big. That's three calls. I called number one, number two, number four. Now I have to call number five. And then, don't ask me what I gotta do. Last 15 minutes. Gonna go back to the other spot. See if I can get one more. Man, I would love a last minute like five pounder. That would be so awesome. All right, we gotta go. Awesome finish. I'm very stoked on that. Got a uh, limit. Any good ones? Nah. Yeah. You should have caught that fish. You should have got that fish. I said, why? You should have got that fish. I said, remember, I lay into the fish. You should have reeled him all the way up. 10-6-2. Cool. She was not happy with that. How much? 10-6-2. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for your help. So this one broke the streak for me, no cash here, but I'm really happy with how I finished the day off and I think overall I didn't do too bad. So there were 26 boats total and first place was 18.7, which solid bag. Second was 13.8, third was 13.2, 12.9, 12.3 and the big fish was 5.8. So. A couple of things that I've been thinking about since the tournament 
At the end of the day, obviously, I got on a few bites. I completed the limit with like an hour to go, and then I called three times after that. I had found that it, like slowing down, just completely slowing down, letting the Texas rig or the drop shot just sit there was getting me bit. So if I'd done that earlier, I feel like I probably would have been able to catch a couple bigger fish in some of the areas that I'd been through. Regardless, like looking back as to what I would do now, I would hope that in the future I can kind of dial this same bite in, slow down, but not hopping it along the bottom as quickly as I was throughout the day in this tournament. Something I realize more and more, especially as it gets hot, is I love the wind. Like I know a lot of people hate fishing in the wind. I love it. And when you have a day like this, when it's bluebird skies, 95 plus degrees out and no wind, it makes that bite really tough. But either way, it was a great tournament. I enjoyed it. And I really hope you guys liked this video. But that's where I'm going to leave it off. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. If you're not already subscribed, leave a like for me as well. We'll see you on the next one.